Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous videos, you have seen how to configure the mobile app with the FCM and also integrate the FCM SDK in the Android app. You could have done it through the Firebase console or the Android Studio IDE. So assuming that you have done both of these things, it is time to move further. But still we have not yet answered our question as to how does the FCM know where to push the notification and also how does the mobile app receive the push notification. To do that we will have to go back to our earlier application which is notification demo. We will be using this particular application to demonstrate the push notification. So what actually happens is when an application which is configured with FCM SDK and also configured in the FCM, a communication happens from the application to the FCM. This is nothing but a registration of the app with the Firebase. This all happens in the background automatically. However, if you want to monitor what's happening, you can use certain APIs like Firebase Messaging and Firebase Instance ID. We will be having a look at those things. Once the FCM receives the communication from the installed application or shall I say newly installed application for the first time, the FCM will recognize that this is a valid application that is trying to communicate with it and then FCM will respond back with a token. This token is nothing but a uniquely identifiable token for a particular device. So it is through this token the FCM understands to which particular device it is talking to. You may decide to handle these Firebase tokens. It is optional but typically you always do it because you may want to use this particular token to trigger the notification through your own application server. I will be telling you how to do this in the later part of the series and this token may or may not change. These are the some of the reasons when the token might actually change that is the app deletes the instance id, the app is restored on a new device or the user uninstalls and reinstalls the app and finally the user clears the app data. Now the question is where do I get this particular token in the application and how do I keep track of what is the token that I have received. Well to do that we have uh, another API which is called as Firebase messaging service. Some of you may come across another API called as Firebase Instance ID service but as on today Firebase Instance ID service has been deprecated. So we will be talking only in terms of Firebase messaging service. This particular class is actually a service that is automatically handled by the push notification framework. It has got two methods one is on new token and on message received. On new token as you would expect gets triggered when a token refresh happens and a new token is generated and on message received gets executed when a message is received on the application side. There are however some minor subtleties which I will be demonstrating you through the demo and optionally the third part is configuring the notification icons or other things. If you don't do this you will get a default notification icon which probably you don't want. So you may have to configure these things in the manifest file of your application. So having done all of these you can actually then go on to trigger a notification and see what happens. So let's get into a demo. So this is the same old code base that you are already familiar with that I will be using and if you go to the application folder you already have the google services json file so this particular file if it is available here that means i have already configured my application to receive the notification and i have integrated my application with the necessary gradle configurations so you can see that it has the necessary gradle configuration So now going back the first thing is the registration. To do this what we will have to use is firebase messaging.getinstance.get 
set auto init enabled equals to true and then we will use firebase instance id dot get instance dot get instance id and then you can use something like add on complete listener it has got a method called as on complete which basically tells whether a successful registration happened from the mobile application here we can check if task which is the argument that we receive in the on complete is successful if it is not successful then log that registration basically failed so i have created a custom tag here so what i will do is i will use that particular tag so r dot pin dot debug tag the value of which is learning push notification so i will use this to basically track what's happening in the background and then here i will say task failed and below i will just return and if this is not the case that means registration succeeded so in that case once again i will use log dot i and once again i will get hold of the tag and the second part is the result and here i will print task dot get result dot get token so here i will successfully get the token and the next part is implementation of the firebase messaging service so i already have a class here called as my firebase messaging service this will have to extend firebase messaging service i will have to override on new token and on message received so these will be basically triggered when a new token is received and whenever a message is received so let me log something here log dot i get string r dot string dot debug tag and then new token i have seen that sometimes this method gets triggered and sometimes it doesn't but whenever the token is refreshed this should get triggered in case if you don't get that particular token in the firebase messaging service you should be able to always get it in the my application where we have written this particular code so let me go back here print the token in the logcat and this one is on message received so log i and once again the tag and finally i will just say message received that's it from the implementation point of view but however don't forget to put this particular service in the manifest file so if you open the manifest file you can see that i have registered my firebase messaging service as a service and the intent filter that i have used is com google firebase messaging event don't forget to add this because otherwise this will not work other than that i have added few more configurations in the manifest file for example i have configured what should be the icon whenever the notification gets triggered so this is the com google firebase messaging default notification icon and in this case i am using the same earlier icon that i had designed as a part of earlier demo and then the accent color for the notification icon and any channel id that you are using so this is the same news channel id and then firebase auto init enabled so initially i have made it false so that in the application i can make it true when the application gets launched and then whether you want to automatically collect the analytics as a part of the notification implementation and i have made it false so with this we are pretty much done with our implementation so let's go back and run this and we will observe what happens in the logcat we have a emulator here and as you can see here we got result here and this is the token that we have got now the question is what should i do with this particular token well you can use this particular token to trigger the notification to this particular device when i say this particular device i basically mean the emulator so what i will have to do is copy the token that you have received go to the firebase console go to the application and come down i am interested in cloud messaging so go to the cloud messaging section and here click on the new notification and you can enter the title and the text so i can say sample title sample text for push notification and then you can click on the send text message and here you have an option like add an fcm registration token here you will have to paste the token that you had got from the application so i have done that and then click on test and you should be able to receive the 
notification and it is the same thing that we had sent here that is sample title and sample test for push notification and if you click here it will open the application this is the default navigation it will just open the application with which the notification is associated with so i can just close this test it again and you should be able to get the notification and if you observe what is happening in the logcat we are pretty much using the token that we had received as a part of the registration now let me go back here and try to trigger the notification when the application is in the foreground click the same token test it unfortunately we have not seen any notification coming here in the emulator however if you go to the logcat you will see that message received has been logged this is basically corresponding to the on message received method of the my firebase messaging service that we have implemented so let me demonstrate this again go back to the firebase console select the token test and you will see that we are getting message received but we are not seeing any icon here so now the question is what is happening how to make sense of this and how to fix it so we shall see that in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye